Welcome everybody. Boo, doo, 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 doo. Welcome. So welcome everybody. So um yeah. So if you might have seen, I was working on a tree pack. So um, it's out. Yeah, you can download it. It's not for free, but it's nice. So uh, just go down below <laughs> and um yeah, just download it, buy it. So you you don't have to if you don't have the money, but I will I would really recommend buying it so because I, it's really nice you know <laughs> so um, yeah here are the tree pack so um, just gonna go in here so um, so in the first look you see here extra folder less leg folder and uh, if you kind of go in here so uh, without the vines less leg without the vines and there's a low poly folder so and here there are just the normal tree so um, so now just some explanation so um, in the extra folder there is yeah extra stuff so um, the most of it are parts of the tree so uh, like the vines and the falling leaves and the cacao steak but um, the most of these also got some more features so um, there's also a tall grass it isn't in any of those trees but I kind of like some extra stuff in here, so I just included the tall grass thing. So let's just kind of go on to the first kind of thing. So I will do the grass thing and also just the first tree because the most of the trees are kind of the same, but it does have another look. So I'm yeah, just gonna do the grass first. So um, and also for the extra folder, so. The most of these are in the tree so I will explain those later so um, yeah in here so the grass in the user data so um, you can kind of change the type see here so here double one and here just one <laughs> one grass and then the other sides and no grass so um, also in here there's the color yep so uh, just some color and there's also the former map so um, the bulge so um, you can enable or disable the bulge so um, I kind of like it with the bulge so um, there's also an adjustment slider in here so uh, you can increase the build or kind of go like this see it's all up to you so um, just do your own thing and um, there's also a, a winds kind of thing in here so uh, you can enable it or disable it so um, if you enable it and you click on play you will see it moves it's a really cool feature so uh, I really like that so you can also kind of change the strength of it so uh, now it's much slower if I turn this up we'll see yeah it's a lot faster so yeah the second part is the extrude so um, if you see in here this is just all flat so if I increase this you'll kind of see it pops up like this mm, I really like the flatter more like this one I prefer those but uh, you can kind of go like this if you like that more so it's up to you and then there's also a kind of texture thing so this is a much darker grass color so you can use the, the those in jungle or something and those in a flat biome thing it's all up to you and this is just um, a lighter texture than this if you kind of see the difference it's just a little lighter so um, yeah, I just gonna go for the controllers in here. So uh, yeah, the green part in here is just yeah the base controller. Like if you want to move everything. So there's also a middle controller, so you can kind of move the grass to the other side. So you can kind of create an effect like this. 
and then there's also a top graph for little adjustments if you see so you can kind of make your own graph shape so uh, I really like that so also in here at the bottom there's just a selector to move the grass see so that was kind of the tall grass so um, the next thing in the extra folders I am gonna show you later because I kind of like those trees so I just gonna show you them so um, first of all the selectors so um, the base selector seen here yeah I really like that so uh, you can play around with those selectors so there's a base selector a middle selector so you can just move this the other way see so you can kind of create your own shape so I really like this so uh, see you can go much advanced if you use kind of this trees because the most of the trees are just with bent deformers but I like the bones um, a lot more so yeah in the bones there's just more features like you can add multiple selectors you seen here with the vines so there's just all, all of those trees are done with bones if you kind of wait I will show you the bones in here so um, the joints yeah so there are a lot of joints but I mean a lot like if I go to the bottom wait no 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 those are the bones from the vines so uh, there are a lot more so uh, 192 no 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 129 <laughs> sorry so um yeah there are a lot of joints and there are trees where there are more joints like the um, jungle tree there i think that's the tree with the most joints and bones so uh, kind of i kind of gonna want to show you espresso like i mean a lot of bones <laughs> you see so it was a lot of work to me to make so um, I really appreciate a few gonna buy this back so um, yeah you just can play around with this selectors I just gonna turn all of this yep so um, yeah so f I'm gonna kind of show you some other features like First, I'm gonna just delete this and that's normal one again. So um, the green parts are just the parts that can do some extra stuff. Like if you see here, the leaf controller, there's little stretch on here. So uh, that's just a little feature I included because I just like the stretch of it. See, you can kind of customize your tree like this. And then there's also, if you've seen here, the vines have a green one. So if you select one of the green selectors of the vines, you will see there's a little user data. So with this vine, you can increase the value of the vine. So um, you can also decrease it. So if you want one vine or two, three, four, five, six, no, no, it just go to five. So um, yeah, the maximum number of the vines is five so I don't really know if you wanna have more but five for me is just a nice number so uh, yeah just the maximum is five yep so now the user data so if you click on here the user data so um, what you can do in here is just see here there's smooth leaves and smooth tree so um, if you look at the tree you will see this is not a flat tree so uh, if I just disable those you will see yep it's just kind of more minecrafty feel but if uh, I enable those two you'll see just a lot smoother 
I like it with um, the smooth um, deformer on, so uh, yeah, it just gives a nicer look to it. Yep, I really like those. So uh, yeah, let's go on to the next part of the user data. So um, in here, there's a color or texture thing. So um, first of all, leaf color. So uh, yep, and also the vines doesn't change, but um, there's also a color of the vines here. So. Uh, I can kind of combine your vines with the leaves. So, yeah, it's all up to you. So, uh, yep. And then there's also just the wood texture. So, um, this is the normal texture of the Asia tree. So, um, if you turn this up, you'll see it's switched to an other texture. And if you're wondering, this is just one object so um, those aren't multiple trees like it's one object just the texture changed so uh, if you're wondering how to do this i uh, made a little tutorial on my channel so um, just check it out i will um, leave the um, link for the video in the description if you want to check that out so uh, yeah kind of like this so um, if you want to swap to another texture, if you look here, it's just a jungle tree. So, uh, yep, now just an oak. So you just can kind of customize your own tree. So for the next part is the emitter. So um, if you turn this on, just if you click on play, you'll see there will come. Yeah, there will come some leaves under here. So. Uh, I kind of like those features, so um, yeah, I really like the looks of the falling leaves with the trees, so I hope you do it too, so um, yeah, so for the next part is just scene editor, so um, you can see the emitter, so you can adjust in here, so um, the, the value of the the least you can increase it like this but also increase the render because you want to see the same in editor and render so yeah i kind of like those and um, you can just adjust it in here so uh, you can adjust the speed the lifetime the rotation and all that i hope you know how to do this so um, just adjust it in here so uh, yeah it's kind of easy so um yeah for the next part so um it's just the wind so um, if you click in scene editor so you will see the turbines so um, yeah you can also move the those around if you want uh, some other parts if you want to uh, yeah just move those around and it will affect the the leaves if you've seen here if i, I enable one of those so uh, i enabled this one so uh, if i click on play you'll see it's kind of like a fan like it's rotates and um, the leaves will go to the position the fan goes to so if I turn this off you'll see it just goes straight down but if I turn one of the, those up you'll see it will go to that position so you can just turn each of those on or on and you can also combine those if you want it to go to a certain way like if you want to go it like sideways see um, then it will go like sideways kind of so yeah it's just up to you so for the next part yeah we're just gonna go yes um, so for the next part you can enable the winds in the leaves so if I enable this you will see in here in the leaves can you see it it moves so i will just turn the frames up so yeah it moves so under here there's also an adjustment for the speed so now it's it moves a lot slower than if i turn this up to 10 so um, yeah that just the winds in the leaves so let's just turn this off for a moment 
So then the f the next part is just the squatch and stretch. So um, like this green selector, it's just a stretch. But um, if you kind of turn this up like this, which you forget the position, if you just don't want it to be there, so you just turn this off and it will be a normal tree again. So then for the next part, it's just wait. Let's just turn this back again. So. Um, for next part is just enable or disable the vines so if you just want a normal tree like this or you just can also use the less lag without the vines because the vines are still here but they just wouldn't pop up because it's just invisible in the renderer and in the editor so if you enable those it will be there and disable it wouldn't but it's kinda is but it's just invisible, okay? If you know what I mean. So then also, if you enable the vines, you can change the color in here. So that's actually the tree. So you can kind of adjust those. If you see, I really like the looks of those trees. If you're kind of with me, so. Uh, I hope you like those as well so um, you just kind of make your own tree yeah this looks so sexy <laughs> so yeah that was the asian tree asia tree or something yeah so for the user data so the most of the trees are just the same so but there are some changes because in the jungle tree there's a cacao like there's also a selector here so we can the type of the cacao see so the first one so first of all you just no cacao so if you plant the seeds on here so whoop it will grow this type of cacao then it will grow and grow and this is your your full grown cacao so um, yeah so for the next kind of features if you seen here there's kind of bulge in here, so like a Sparify Reformer, but you can disable those, so if you just want the Minecraft to looks. And there's also smooth texture in here, uh, no I mean, mean smooth edges, so yeah, you can enable or disable the smooth edges. And it's just kind of the same with the selectors, like the first three I showed you, so the stretch. And then, yeah, the selector, so it's just all kind of the same, like these trees, but then there's also mushrooms in here, because, yeah, it's kind of like a tree, like with the mushroom biome, those are kind of the trees of the mushroom biome, so I just include in here, because there are also not many uh, mush big mushrooms that I saw in packs or something, but yeah i just made those in my pack because yeah there just aren't like so many um mushrooms like the big ones so uh, yeah so let's just go on to the user data on this one because there's something different like the texture just brown and red and just the same with the other flat mushrooms so uh, wait i will just go through those next to each other so um the flat mushroom so uh, you can just change the textures and then the red mushroom kind of so the, just to swap between the textures if you want a mushroom like this or just this and then just the same with the kind of stretch thing and then here just the same and then the same with the selectors it's all kind of the same so but it's still each tree is unique it's not really the same but just the same type of deformers kind of thing so I will just show you all of the trees like side to side so this is the Asia tree and um, this is kind of the big mushroom and then there's also a big oak tree like if you see in here 
Yeah, I really like those ones. So, and then this is the dark oak. See, you can still um, change the textures of each tree. And then it's all the same with the vines and all that stuff. So this is the flat mushroom. And then the oak tree, just the normal Minecraft oak tree. Yeah. And then the small jungle tree. I also um, try to make a large one, but if you know, it's really high, so um, I there i think there are a lot of bones in there if i try to make a large one i probably should in some of those versions like version 2 or version 3 but it's a really high tree so um, it will include a lot but a lot of bones so uh, i don't know about that tree yet but i will make some um, trees like from mods or something or just some custom trees like yeah if you've seen adventure maps or something like some custom trees you probably know what i mean so yeah just i really like those so yeah for the next is the spruce tree this was the mo the one i made in the speed modeling of the tree so uh, i kind of like those with without the vines the spruce tree yeah like this so yeah this is the one that i made on the on the video yep those are the trees in version one so um, there will be a lot more in version two so um, if you buy this one you'll get the updates for free so yeah that's kind of a cool feature actually from the packs that i make all my updates the most of the packs will be for free so so yeah that was, were all the trees from the just the normal tree so then there's a less lag folder so in here just just all the same trees and mushrooms but just without the vines so if you have a lot of lag with these trees if you have a slow computer so you just can use those or you can use the low poly so it's actually a folder with low polygons so um, you can use those in the background or something so this is just the normal tree but the only thing you can do with this one is kind of stretch it and if you don't know what kind of low polygon is means is this is a tree with you seen here this is a polygon wait i gonna select the polygons for you so this is a polygon so here just one polygon for one lock and if i grab this one in here so uh, you'll see there are a lot but i mean a lot more of polygons so it will give kind of some more lag so um, I just included a folder with low polygons so you can use those in the background or something so it's just kind of the same with the user data you can enable or s disable the smooth deformer so it's kind of the same and there there are also no vines in here so it's just yeah it's just the same but no deformers like bones uh, no no not a deformer i mean just just the bones like they aren't here it's just just a normal tree you know yeah and it's just kind of the same with other low polygon trees so and mushrooms of course so um, the only thing is just the stretch in the wait hello <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm in polygon mode, of course. <laughs> That's why I couldn't select those. So um, yeah, let's just grab those controller. If you see just the 
stretch but there are no um, like kind of bent things on here because if you use bones in a low polygon thing low polygon um, yeah model you it will it wouldn't give such effects like a smooth effect if you know what I mean so it's just a normal mushroom but not really normal because it's just more smooth in here you see also with the mushrooms if you didn't know for the user data there's also a kind of move thing in the top of the mushroom if you just I don't know I just include it so uh, yeah that's it for the mushroom so just kind of the same with all the other trees not in this one this is just the cacao like the cacao is, is um still high polygon but the tree is but yeah it's kind of hard with the bulge in here if you um if you want the bulge in here so um, if then i use if i use a, a low polygon for the cacao and if you want the bulge feature it wouldn't look that great so uh, yeah i just use it with the high polygon but it it wouldn't give that many lag just if you use a this a small object like this but with the trees some of the computers will kind of lag but that's why i included the low polygon and the less lag folder so uh, yeah it's just for you so yeah i guess those are the trees so um, i just gonna sh kind of show you the extra folder so if i click on extra it's just in here you can pick up the cacao like you don't have to go to the tree to um, have the cacao with you so yeah the cacao so for the user data you can change the type if i showed you and then yeah let's just go back to um, this view so the cacao is in here the falling leaves if you just want some falling leaves somewhere in your project wait first have to uh, enable it I guess wait a moment no 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 I know why because in the emitter you see the lifetime I have my frames to 500 and um, the lifetime is just it stops with um, 150 so that's why you didn't see um, the fines coming here so uh, you have to look uh, where it stops so um, if you're in your project um, you have like a kind of animation thing and it goes a lot farther than um, 150 frames you just increase this and you can also change where it starts the the leaves to fall so like here's nothing and uh, then suddenly it starts to fall and then it stops again because the frame rate so yeah if I click on play yep i kind of like those uh, falling leaves so there are three um three um different type of leaf or of leaves so this is the first type then there's also kind of type like this one and then the third type if i can find it in here i think it's this one yeah so there are three um different leaves in here so uh, you, yeah you can have some different leaves so um, that's kind of it for this one so then the vines it's just kind of the same like the vines of the trees but um, the selectors are different and you got the color in here in this user data but you still um, can change the value of the vines so uh, it's here one vine and um yeah it stops with five so in here the first controller is just to move it or rotate it so yeah and then under the um, yellow kind of controller is a green controller if i write yeah so um, this is to move the bones actually so uh, see in here so if i move this to here i still can grab this controller and move it 
to the other side and then this controller to this side so um, it's much advanced than the vines with the bent deformer because I've seen a lot of trees and um, vines and all that stuff people use just bent deformer because it's just a lot easier but um, with the bones you just have a much better look I've seen here this is a thing what you couldn't do with the vines uh, I mean the the bent deformer so yeah it's it really t took me a, a long time to actually made all the bones in here and um yeah the espresso if you've seen so yeah i think this is kind of my review of the tree pack because i'm already already at 30 and 30 minutes so yeah so i just gonna say goodbye then so um the pack will be um like four five dollars i don't know i will see it um, yeah the, the bits will be free if you didn't know so um, there will come a lot more trees so don't worry if you um think this is a little less so yeah i think that's it so don't forget to leave a like and um bye guys see you later